Clemson office with one of our fisheries biologists, Weston Houck. And Weston is normally out in the field managing the state's fisheries resource, but today he's here to help us learn how to cook that resource and enjoy it on the other side. So Weston, we're going to fry and grill fish today, so what do we need to do to get started? All right. <coughs> well, first off, I've already cleaned uh, some catfish here and cut it up into little nuggets. Excellent. Um, on this side, this is what we're going to grill. This is actually flounder. Um, it's a saltwater fish. Um, and first off, with the catfish, we're just gonna batter it. I have some cornmeal, uh, seasoned cornmeal set up already. You can also use uh, flour or some, something to that effect. And then I have some egg right here, some beaten egg. And uh, some people use milk, and it just helps the uh, batter to adhere to the fish. Now, do we need to add salt and pepper to the uh Cornmeal. Cornmeal. No, it's uh, it's already been seasoned. So, uh, I mean, if you use plain cornmeal, you can if you want. But this is actually just uh, seasoned fish fry already. So. All right. So, what do we need to do to get started? All right. First off, we take some of our uh, nuggets here and dip them in the egg, and then we roll it in the cornmeal and get it all battered up. So I guess there's no wrong wrong way to roll it in the. Uh in the cornmeal, is it? There's no art, no science? Nope, just as long as you have a good cover over them. All right, so we've got the fried fish ready to go, but we'll let's transition over into our grilled fish. Okay, um, for the grilled fish, I'm just gonna put some olive oil on it to keep it uh, from sticking to the grill, and the olive oil also helps with the seasoning, helps it stick to the fish. All right, so we're just gonna coat both sides in the olive oil, or? Yeah. Okay. Put both sides. You can use other things. Uh, I just always have used olive oil. It's a good healthy choice. That's right. Now this is a saltwater fish like we said. It's flounder. But what are some other fish species in South Carolina that you could grill the same way or a <coughs> similar way? Um, you can also grill uh, bass and stuff like that. Um, a lot of your saltwater uh, species are very good grilled. Um, one up here in the mountains, you can grill trout. Um, you just put down tin foil, and you can actually uh, put the trout along with some butter and some lemon in the tin foil and wrap it up and grill it. Okay. All right. Next, we season it. Uh, you can use just about any seasoning you like. Um, so just sprinkle it along the sides. Yeah, along the top, and then lemon pepper. Uh, like I said before, butter and lemon is also a good choice. Okay, excellent. So we are ready. We've got the oil hot. What a, what temperature should we look for when we start to uh, fry our fish? Uh, you want to keep the temperature uh, below 375, somewhere around 300 is good. Okay, um, so the oil is hot and ready. Now what's our next step? All right, next step is to uh, get our fish, put it in our basket here, and get ready to fry some. All right, next step, you have to be careful putting it in. It, it's, it's probably gonna pop in. So you wanna put it in slowly. Slow. If you wanna keep it in there, uh, usually a good to where it floats. <laughs> now if you were serving fried fish, what would you put with this? Uh, you can serve hush puppies. Uh, some people put, it's just fried cornmeal. Some people put onions and stuff in it. Nice. A little ketchup, a little tartar sauce, french so fries. Mm. All right, we are here set up ready to grill the flounder, but we're grilling on a charcoal grill. So what's the difference? Why have we chosen the charcoal versus a gas grill? Uh, gas grill is good. I just like the, the flavor that charcoal gives the fish. Okay, and before we get started, I know that um, we, we prep the grill. How have we prep the grill? 
Uh, <clears throat> well, first off, I used uh, ready light uh, charcoal, stacked it up, and uh, lit it. Uh, it's been uh, lit probably 30 minutes now, okay. and then I spread it out. Uh, you want it just nice and spread out because you want it even, even cooking. All right. Mm. So I guess we are ready now to put um, the flounder onto the grill. We are. Is there any specific order or madness the way you need to lay the fish on the grill? N nothing in particular. You just want to keep it, uh, like I said, over even heat to keep it from uh, burning. But uh, next thing I'm going to do is cover it and we're going to cook it probably around eight minutes and then check on it. Okay. <coughs> All right, it's been cooking for about eight to ten minutes. Mmm, looks yummy. <coughs> So how do we know the eight, and t eight to ten minutes was about long enough? Can you tell by looking at it or? Uh, yeah, you can tell by looking at it. A lot of times you'll see some of the, the grease and stuff coming out. Okay. With some of the oil. Uh, or you can just, if you want, you can just kind of cut into it a little bit. If it flakes off. Nice. It should be, uh, should be done. Excellent. All right. Now, is there any trick to taking the fish off the grill when we do it directly on the grill like that, or? No, with the uh, the olive oil, it should should come right off. It shouldn't be stuck at all. Mmm, looks yummy. Well, I think this is going to end our segment. We want to thank Weston for his time today and sharing this yummy treat with us. Um, we're going to head out and eat, but we will catch you guys next time. <laughs>